Hi everybody, it's Dr. Sam Robbins. Now today's question is from David and he asks, what is LDL cholesterol? Why is it bad and how can I lower it quickly and naturally? So when you do a comprehensive lipid panel or cholesterol blood test, it provides information about the amount of cholesterol carried by different lipoproteins in your blood. Now, there are five major lipoproteins. Um, one of them is called uh, cliomicrons, which is typically uh, triglycerides, which you've heard of. Uh, very low density lipoproteins, intermediate uh, density lipoprotein, low density lipoprotein, and then high density lipoprotein. So today I'm going to quickly cover your LDL, which is called the low density lipoprotein. And this is because the LDL particles tend to be less dense than other kinds of cholesterol particles. And this type of cholesterol is produced primarily by your liver, which is an important fact for you to know, and I'll tell you why in a few seconds. Now, this LDL cholesterol is very important in the creation of your cell walls, your hormones, and digestive juices. So LDL is needed for a healthy body. Now, unfortunately, LDL is also known as your bad cholesterol. And this is because when your LDL levels are high, it can start to form plaque-like substances on the walls of your cardiovascular system, you know, basically your arteries and veins, blocking the natural flow of blood and then leaving you at severe risk for a heart attack or stroke. Now, as you can see in the chart below, your goal is to have lower LDL levels, which is actually the opposite of HDL, the high density lipoprotein. And I'll cover HDL in a different video. Now, an easy way to remember this is think of the L and LDL as low and the H and HDL as high. And thus, your goal is to have low LDL and high HDL. Now, the question is, how do I lower it? Now, a proper diet and exercise will help improve your LDL levels and all of your lipoproteins. And I'll discuss these two topics in detail in a different video. But what's important to know and as stated earlier, is that most of your cholesterol, your lipoproteins, LDL, is made in your liver and not from the foods you eat. Now, this doesn't mean you can go out and eat pizza and ice cream every day, but most people are doing the wrong things to improve their cholesterol levels. And this is why most of us just aren't getting the positive results we expect. And we're frustrated with the lack of results. And sadly, we just eventually give up and just take harmful medications. Now, I know this because this is exactly the problems I ran into with lowering my parents' cholesterol levels back in 1998. And I talk about this in further detail in a special video that you can click at, click to watch in the description area below this video. So that's it for today. You know, I hope this video was helpful and gave you more clarity. Uh, if you'd like more information about this topic, you know, please subscribe to this YouTube channel because I'll be making more highly researched videos aimed at keeping your entire body and mind healthy so you can just look and feel young. And if you'd like to discover uh, how my parents lowered their cholesterol levels naturally without the use of harmful prescription drugs or following a restrictive uh, diet, please visit the link in the description area below for additional information and helpful tips. Thanks for listening and have a happy and healthy day.